When it comes to planning your wedding, it's essential to know what your budget is and to be aware of exactly how much you'll be spending. Sometimes it can be hard to predict all of those expenses. So today, we'll enlist the help of Cherie Ronning, ready to pass along tips for ways to accurately estimate those wedding costs. Take a look. It's so exciting when people get engaged and then they start thinking about the wedding. But then they have to face the reality of everybody's on a budget. I've done weddings that the budget was $5,000 and I've done weddings that the budget was $500,000 or more. And everyone has to determine what their priorities are in spending. Typically, as a consultant, I would ask first thing, what kind of location are you looking for? How many guests are we going to have? Because then the priorities of the budget pretty much fall into the reception is usually 50 to 55 percent of the cost of the wedding. So if you say, okay, my budget is $30,000, I'd like to have 200 people, then we're going to say, well, about 15 to 17,000 will be spent on the reception. That will be for food and um, the band and the flowers at the reception and your uh, decor. Right away it sets uh, a tone of how are we going to divvy up the money. So I think it's really important that they think about the style of their own personalities. Are they going to have something formal, sit down, or are they going to be a little more casual? If they're going to do it in an outdoor venue, you need to remember that outdoor venues quite often your rental expenses are quite high. Hotels seem to sound expensive when you say, oh, it's $45 or $55 a person. But that includes the tables and chairs and china and glassware and bartenders and all of those things that do not come when you have it in a beautiful field out by Mount Hood. The percentage of figures of the budget don't really change. I mean, there's a certain amount that you're going to spend on each category and then if your budget is larger or smaller, you're going to pare down what you can spend on the flowers or what you can spend on the cake. There are fixed costs when it comes to like limousine service and, and photographers and videographers have packages that you need to choose from and maybe then how you choose that is by how many hours to get the numbers to fit into your budget. But it's all driven essentially from the very beginning by the venue and how many guests. So one of the values that I try to bring to the table as uh, one of the photographers is to encourage the couple to completely be themselves. Uh, I'm not interested in making a big production out of things. What I'm interested in is telling the real story as it unfolds, the real emotion, the real smiles, the real tears that come out. And so one of the best things I think that I can encourage a bride and groom to be is to completely just relax and embrace even the chaos that comes with it uh, because that will mean more to the story and the realness of the photography at hand. Timeless. Elegant. Classic. Portland's most spacious classic car. Book your service now at bestcarintown.com. Mika Anatome, custom gowns and shoes found exclusively at Ania Collection in the heart of downtown Portland. Beauty Unveiled. Hybrid Moon Video Productions. Stories Told. Moments Captured. Emotion Shared. Plan your wedding with the media of our generation. Hybrid Moon Video Productions. <laughs>